Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be from LA LAN 3, or Starcon LA LAN 3. Bottom left hand corner, we have Loves Now, or Loves Snow. I think it's Loves Snow is officially what it is. He streams out on Twitch land, so be sure to follow him. He's the Orange Terran from Team Nom. Also from Team Nom, Neon Sword, upper left hand corner, as the Pink Terran. This is on Polypoid. Now, if I recall, Love from uh, Hasu League where I'm trying to remember where I cast love. I know I've cast love before. I think it was in Hasu League. Uh, looks like there's a bit of chatter of that. Chatter back and forth. Wonder if they're poking one another. Here's the thing. They're playing live in the same arena, in the same space. So I'm wondering if they're like chucking keyboard stuff at each other in real time and that's what the chatter is about that's what i imagine happening is that they got like a piece of paper to the side and they're just rolling it up and chucking at each other and keep throwing it back at each other as a distraction full contact starcraft anyway supply depots coming out so it doesn't look like it is going to be a crazy eight perks but love if i recall uh, opted to play more aggressively so would not be shocked to see him open up either um two factory or potentially standard three factory. Neon Sword, saw in the previous matches, did pretty well. Barracks being floated to the forward location. From here, there will be a little bit of spotting advantage, at the very least. And as far as people out in YouTube land, let me know. So I'm covering some of this. I'm going to try to cover as much of it as I can before BSL Season 16 starts. I also have some 2v2 reps from BSL to do, and also I've covered some Korean professionals out on StarCast TV, so you can check the games there. Refinery Gab from Neon Sword, nothing yet from Love. So it looks like Love just going to go for one racks into expansion, where it looks like Neon Sword potentially opening up for a faster factory. Scouting can be huge here. It looks like Neon Sword is going to get first scout, and I'm wondering if that will adjust Love's plans upon... So right here might be the adjustment. So we'll see if there's a move to grab the refinery or... Nope, just going to stick with this the game plan. And put down that command center. The SCV actually might be able to get a block. Looks like it's just going to wander into the main. Rather than worrying about that. But at, Neon Sword actually positioning this with the SCV. SCVs can do pretty good damage. Versus Marines to start. Looks like Love able to sneak his SCV in. Yeah, trying to get some initial attack damage on that Marine... And SCVs, if they can get some initial shots, actually win that fight. Now with a just attack of damage, going to go ahead and back out, grabbing that refinery. As far as a follow-up, first factory in production, but only one SCV left. Otherwise, and I think Love got the information that he was looking for, knows that it's a factory first build. Now, the question for Neon is, siege to siege or not to siege? Oftentimes, still going for three factory mass vulture it's such a wide choke that you can kind of overrun and just sweep in still get a lot of scv kills and even with the later command center sometimes take a larger economic lead it's the meta for a reason scv checking that bottom right hand corner are we gonna see proxy proxy starport something along those lines this scv is being rather sneaky so we'll try to keep an eye on it barracks floating its way across but yeah it's a rather odd spot to put it looks like we are seeing the command center being built an initial vulture going to take the field factory being built on the opposite side so bunker with the, with just two marines going to be there to defend against initial vulture pressure love continuing to try to scout things out but is going to get denied a lot of information here well maybe not i thought he was going to end that vulture is going to hold short but it looks like that vulture might try to go for a run by regardless it does have enough health for if it comes at the right angle, can sneak through and go ahead and get SCV kills. Then it's gonna be a while before this factory has an additional vulture, and that'll be three Marines. But with initial damage being taken, I'm not sure that vulture's gonna have a shot. SCV actually able to wander right back in and see everything. So seeing the whirling machine shop, it's gonna see the factory count as well. Barrack's gonna float up and at least be able to hang out over that natural expansion to know when that gas comes online. And a starport follow up double wraith follow-up for love and we'll see if neon sword gets wind of it and is able to react 
That'll be four Marines in the bunker for defense otherwise, but that's going to leave very little anti-air for Neon Sword to deal with it. It looks like maybe sniffed this out, staying on two factories, grabbing that armory, but still no Goliath in production as of yet. And I'm not sure if this is like just one of these I know love reads or just respect for the potential Wraith threat in the overall build order. First Wraith on the way, second one should be there shortly. Mines covering the field should give a little bit of latent map control and also is going to allow Neon to at least know troop positioning, third factory to get that third fa the three fact vulture up online. And that armory finishes and I'm gonna see if there's, I'll be interested to see if there's any Goliaths built preemptively because the other thing is is sometimes players will end up building Goliaths just to deal with counter vultures and it's also possible that this is a read on Wraith because the vultures have yet to encounter any counter vulture out on the field so it might be okay you're up to something maybe guessing Wraith thus far though no Goliaths in production uh, in production plus one weapons being produced in the first Wraith on the way Second Wraith should be somewhere there to join it. And maybe that was a little bit later. But yeah, now attacking that lines in zero anti-air. No engineering bay. But here's the thing. These lasers, it's like trying to kill someone with a... Uh, like a genuine, like, sewing needle. Is what it feels like watching it happen. It's just like the little... Pew, pew, even like the sound of it, it's kind of like, that's not very strong. However, once you get a decent amount of Wraith, and they're focus firing the same SUV, they can plummet that count pretty rapidly. Single Siege Chank and the four Marines there as the Vulture is going to be able to go ahead and wander right on by. Plant a lot of mines. Cloak also being upgraded here. The Wraith might help a bit of that threat. Looks like a mine actually exploding on SCV, or sorry, on one of the, uh, some of the Vultures itself, but they're going to be able to go ahead and clear out and get some additional damage to the main. The Wraith coming back? The Wraith have come back, but it looks like they're attacking that barracks rather than dealing with the Vulture. So, a lot of economic damage on both ends. Now the Wraith turning right back around and looking to get some uh, additional damage. Mine's still out here. They need to... Ooh, this could be disastrous. So, tank taken out, but at least no SCVs die with it. Turret being constructed. It looks like it's going to finish in time, and that should help mitigate that Wraith threat, so that Wraith being taken out. So, as things stand, worker count even, three factories up for Neon Sword, second factory and two starports up for love. Supply count's just about even. And a sneaky expansion has been taken by Neon in the bottom right-hand corner. So waiting for that SCV to do something sneaky. Two Goliaths out in the front, turret there to also protect. The Wraith gonna try to get what they can, and it looks like that is going to be attacking that refinery over the edge to deny some gas. A missile turret being built to try to deal with it. It looks like the Wraith going to go ahead and take a shot and back out. Engineering, flo uh, engineering bay floating forward. Five Wraith regrouping. Going to go ahead and take that out and say, look, wow, this mine's been here forever. And it looks like, uh, is that a barracks being rebuilt on this side? So maybe the barracks floating forward. I must have missed the barracks dying for love. So he's been stuck at his current factory count for a bit. But this is now three base versus two. Honestly, a superior composition for Neon Sword as well. Wraith kind of have a little bit of a niche. Cloak dropping, no detection as of yet. So that is going to force Neon Sword back. But no third base as of yet for love. So Neon Sword is slowing, is basically slowly falling behind in this match. Three more factories being dropped. I assume an initial Marine something cleared that mine. And love wandering out, maybe potentially hoping to grab a third. That being spotted immediately and the SCV being wiped out. But now six factories and Neon definitely has the economy to make that work. But it is possible that these Wraith might find that base in the bottom right and equalize things. We'll see. 
But with the current status, five factories, double machine shop, wraith support versus Goliath Vulture, Love actually able to press forward a little bit and get some pressure on the plateau. Doesn't look like it's going to last very long, though, not even bothering to siege. But again, with the lack of detection and sufficient enough wraiths, able to shove Neon Sword back. Unfortunately, Love, assuming these wraiths are solid and giving him the advantage here, when in fact he is falling further and further behind economically. Looks like he's going to con yeah keep that wraith threat up. Science facility finally being produced. That'll allow Neon Sword to finally move out against the great... It feels weird to say. The great wraith plague. Plus one weapons, by the way, online for Neon Sword. No uh, armory as of yet. Third commands are being built for loves now. To work that economy. Going up to six factories to support that. But all things considered... Could be a major swing either direction, and I'm waiting that the big shift will be once that science vessel comes out, if there's sufficient enough Goliaths underneath, because weapons, there's a big weapon upgrade advantage. Love does not have a lot of siege tanks or other troops. Yeah, it looks like Comsat finally out there. Neon had enough of it. He's like, I'm going to drop Comsat and build science vessels to deal with this. So the rate's scattering. Trying to have more cloak and Love just being completely evicted out of what he thinks is the third for Neon Sword, but is in fact the fourth base. And Neon Sword can comfortably just grab that fourth base, let Love try to play economic catch-up with a, an inferior attack force, Neon with a huge supply lead right this second. What's up, Optimator, by the way? That's going on YouTube. Some vultures planning some defensive mines in between. Eight factories whirling, three machine shops, going to be there. No movement yet from Neon Sword to grab that fourth base. And with he actually has a sufficient enough supply lead where he could press forward and just wipe things out. And Love actually expending troops needlessly. Pressing into Neon Sword's position. And now Neon making moves. Not even going to bother grabbing that base. The barracks was going up to try to confirm that that base was coming online. And instead you have a bunch of heavy army rolling forward able to take out those mines with A-moves as they're moving across Love trying to siege to the south. But you can just see there's an overwhelming amount of siege tanks from Neon, so it looks like he is going to be able to go ahead and move forward and get a seal. SCV's trying to repair over that line and rely on that misfire rate. Goliath's taking some steps forward. Neon Sword can keep, yeah. Able to get that additional shot, can continue to press forward. And, oh, miss rally there, losing some tanks as they're making the way across. Also, mine looks like it's blockading the way otherwise. Neon Sword closing the noose. Should be a GG sump and also expanding to the natural in that bottom right hand corner. I'm not sure Love realizes what a dire situation he is in. Still trying to fend this off, sending out SEVs. To try to fend off troops, but there's more where that came from. More SCVs, yeah, flooding forward. Actually able to get on top of the siege tanks and provide some distractionary fire. So Love with some heroic SCVs actually able to stay alive in this and bust the lines forward, which is very unexpected, honestly. I was thinking that was sufficient enough siege tanks, so that would be it. But now Love all of a sudden with the superior siege tank count the question is, is for how long? Because Neon Sword still has big supply advantage. Keep in mind, about 30 of that supply is in SCVs. But regathering and the economic pressure is going to continue. Love, I think, yeah, still thinks he's in this match because he's wandering up, seeing that there's no third. So I think he thinks this is still two base versus two base. If he can just somehow either cap that six o'clock or that mineral only, just needs to get some detection out to clear the mine, he's thinking maybe. Another Wraith making its way out. And I think upon seeing this factory count, if it can get up and spot it, yeah, and so going and trying to deny this. So yeah, thinks he's still in a solid economic position. Because he's like, okay, it's still two base versus two base, and I've got two bases just waiting to come online. I should be okay. But in reality, wandering out, I think upon seeing that factory count and realizing, nope, there are additional bases here in the bottom right. Neon flooding forward with some vultures, however. 
getting some damage done. It looks like, yeah, the Wraith not going to be able to do much there to the right. Two Sea Shanks moving their way across. That should be an easy defense for Neon Sword. And Neon Sword also grabbing that 3 o'clock location. So not hesitating at all to continue to expand. Does need to go cross map to go ahead and hold the bases in bottom right. Command Center might need some repair if it's going to stay online. And more looks like distance mining from Love going to actually land that Command Center out of position, realizing the current economic position. Command Center in flames, but it looks like it is going to survive. Siege Shanks now shooting the gap for Love, looking to apply pressure back at that natural expansion, but I think there's got to be concern about defending that six. A lot of Siege Shanks there at the natural defend there. Love also trying to press in, but this SCV does not care. Thank you for the raid, Salissa. Good to see you. Hope you were doing well. Goliath pressing up the high ground. SCV was killed, so that's going to halt that command center briefly, but the 3 o'clock base already up and running, though not saturated, not yet mining. And a glut of siege tanks for love running up to engage Neon Sword. Neon Sword I believe that supply advantage is entirely in SEVs. Most of his army seems to be in the bottom right. So having trouble engaging Love as he's coming up with just pure Siege Shank despite the plus two weapons advantage. Six o'clock base getting emptied. Might be able to take that command center out with some time. Neon needing to regather and get some more troops out on the field right now. Love at half the supply, but because 50 of that is in SCVs, he's only technically down 20 supply in army, but still in a really bad situation. Making the best of it, though, because he's got... A, so it's like a... I don't think I've ever seen this. A dual seal on both sides. So Neon Sword has a siege line established on Love's now side of the map, and Love has three siege tanks on the opposite side as well, taking out troops as they're making their way across. Mines trying to get planted. Looks, it looks like they are going to be able to take out at least a siege tank. So that's getting cleaned up. So it looks like the superior trench line is going to be Neon Swords. More Wraith moving out to try to make something happen. Also spotting for siege tanks on the forward ledge. Going to have to back out while that commsat drops. Wraith not going to last long as it's moved up there. Also, science vessels out in the field, so Wraith are soon to be an extinct species. At least as far as Polypoid is concerned. Bottom right hand base mining, 3 o'clock base mining, natural expansion. Well, actually might burn down. But Neon Sword is going to have three bases after this, and Loves Now is just about mined out. On top of that, natural expansion is getting reinforced. Somehow three Wraith, three Hero Wraith, have managed to make it through the supply lines. Trying to kill some SCV. At this stage, that might help the Sword, who's a bit oversaturated here. But yeah, I think Love's got to be scratching his head right now. Thinking, okay, looks like going to try to drop, manage to get a drop ship out. Dropping some vultures in the bottom right. That might send a lot of SCV scattering. But while that's happening, Neon Sword just A moving into the natural expansion of love. SCV's pulling off the line. This has to be the GG moment. Yeah, some SCVs are dying here to the right, but that's easily resecurable. There's actually just some troops that need to A move to deal with those vultures. Desperately repairing. They're at the natural. I think love's got to be feeling a little bit salty with the hidden expansion play. Probably thought he was ahead for large portions of this match. Yeah, Neon Sword just wandering down to go ahead and attack move. Oops, that's not the button I wanted. That's the button I wanted. To engage these vultures, his main completely breached. Yeah, and the vulture's not going to last all that much longer. It looks like the vulture, the wraith's still alive, though. So Wraith going to be here from at the beginning of the match and managing to hold to the end. And everything else, I think this might be the last Siege Shank. 
that Love is able to field down to 19 supply, but still has not GG'd. <laughs> See the just wants this Wraith to live its best life. Get these last few SCV kills. Definitely not a base... Well, it's a base race situation in the aspect that it's how quickly can Neon Sword wipe out everything here, but... This is Love just refusing to GG. Maybe because it's also a tournament situation, this is the, the elimination. There's GG. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Kind of a wild one. Thanks for listening.